Hi guys, and welcome to this week's vlog video. Uh, we're starting on the laundry room makeover. I am so excited because I am going to make cabinets for the very first time and I don't know how to do it. So we are going to learn that together. And um, I'm starting a new vlog channel. I figured that all the thrifting and the behind the scenes and lifestyle stuff can uh, house on this channel and then we will still keep the uh, DIYs, room makeover, how-to videos on the main channel. So just kind of helps um, everybody find what they're looking for, I think. Anyway, we're going to go to the hardware store. We are going to get half inch plywood or three fourths. It just depends on the price, really, guys. That's all it is. Um, and we are going to try to make these cabinets for the first time. So today happens to be Monday um, and I am off of work at this time. So I'm going to play with some tools and learn how to make some cabinets. So let's do this. Let's go to our hardware store and then we'll come back. It's very hot out here. Holy moly guys, it's, it's 91 degrees. All right, guys, uh, welcome back home. We unloaded the plywood and we are going to get uh, this started. The first one is going to be kind of my trial and error one. And then after I make it, then I can tell you guys how I do it. So that's why I'm going to do this first part in the vlog. And then, you know, once I get it down pat, then I can do a complete tutorial on that. But I'm gonna show you, again, my inspiration. Here's the laundry room. This is cabinet number one, cabinet number two, and cabinet number three. And I'll make all sense uh, when we do the laundry room video. But the first one is gonna be 74 inches long by 31 and 1 4 high. And then the depth is going to be um, 23 inches. So let's cut the wood. Here's my cutting diagram. This is the one that we're gonna use today. Uh, I don't have a fancy like Craig uh, jig. What I usually do is just find something that's a straight edge, clamp it down, and then use that as my guard. So I'll show you what you can use when you don't have the uh, 
the funds or the ability to run out and go get a, a jig, a cutting jig. But it's really self-explanatory. Let's bring it down. We are on our way to the hardware store yet again, trip number two. So I can get a jig. I, it has taken me two hours just to make four cuts. So I am thinking that I need to get a jig. So I'm gonna break down and buy one. And guys, listen, I know, I know a table saw would give me faster cuts and straighter cuts, but I am deathly afraid of using a table saw without Joe being there because I am a nurse and I cannot tell you how many times I have seen a, fe a severed finger or a partial severed finger um, in the ED or I've taken care of somebody. Um, it just, PTSD, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just feel a little bit safer with this circular saw, which I don't know if it's true or not. It's just my comfort level. Um, so I'm hoping a, a jig, even though I can make my own jig, um, and I have plenty, plenty of times, I just want to cut this wood pretty fast. So I'm going to spring for a jig and see if I can cut things faster. So let's go into the Home Depot for round number two today. All right guys, we are back home. Joe is gonna be so excited that we got new tools because he says that he'd smell the new tool smell, which I don't know if that's really true because I can't smell it. Anyway, I'm going to work. It is currently 2.52. Um, I'm going to work for another hour until about four and then I'm going to wrap it up and get this house in order um, because I have to work tomorrow and I want a clean house when I come home from work. So I'm going to clean it, prepare my lunch for my shift tomorrow and uh, we'll pick up um, the cabinet making <laughs> uh, the next day off. So let's work for another hour and see what how much we can get done. I want to at least get everything cut. It is currently guys, it's 91 degrees. Good morning guys. We, um, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and I have a day off of work and we are gonna go for a walk before we start our day. I like to walk, um, especially before it gets too hot here in Missouri. Uh, it's about 100, it gets about 100. So we are going to go for a quick little walk and enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the outside. And we're gonna come back home and we got to go to the booth and bring a couple of items there, kind of clean it up and then come home and work on the cabin. Okay, we are all done with our walk and now we are going to get our day started. I fed you. You already ate. You did. You can't have two breakfasts. I'm going to make my breakfast now. Oh, guys, I just wanted to show you something that my husband and I did. Um, this used to have house the cat box so we would have the cat, cat box here and I put wallpapered right but my husband put a door in on it there you go isn't that cute along with the open door um so it's in our kitchen now but the cat boxes are not they are downstairs but I just thought I'd show you one of the little projects we made about a year and a half ago. 
making some oatmeal, putting some peanut butter and strawberries. And of course, coffee, guys. Coffee, coffee. I have did the pocket holes for the very first time. I don't know why I was so scared. Um, it really is self-explanatory. But um, I will definitely do a tutorial or how to build the cabinets when we do the laundry makeover. So you don't have to like write everything down. This is just a vlogging part of it. This is just me learning how to do it and you guys can follow along and see my process. So we did all the pocket holes on the side parts and then the stretcher part. I call it the stretcher part. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, um, but it helps the walls not go like this. Um, if anything I've learned from making things, um, you have to think about the stress parts of a piece and so if I have something like this the walls are going to come down even if I have a top on it they're going to want to bow in so I want to keep these nice and square so in order to do that I'm going to have that backer plate or that stretcher plate so what I'm doing right now is just hand sanding all the rough edges I'm going to of course sand before I paint but this is just just 220 and I'm just hand sanding, hand sanding it um, just to knock off all those little sharp edges that were made when we cut the wood. When I put it together, my sander's not going to get really close to the edges. And of course, I'll put my mask on, but um, just hand sanding um, so we, so I can get a, a nice finish. These are going to be painted, so I just wanted to just to do a preliminary sand, just a really light sand. And I'm just rubbing my hands over it just to feel those rough edges. When you feel them, those rough edges, you'll really see them when you paint it. Um, when you stain wood, it, it's a little bit more forgiving than when you paint. Oh, by the way, guys, this plywood is also formaldehyde free. So I don't know in your area if you're able to get the formaldehyde free, but it does help with any of the kick up dust that you're not breathing in formaldehyde. And we're gonna do the underneath because hey, that's the bottom part and nobody's ever gonna see the bottom part, hopefully. And then we'll clean it up and then we'll start attaching it all up. close so you can see what I am doing. So I'm going to bring you close so you can see what I am doing. I got these Craig screws. I'm not sure if I like them all that much but I bought them so we're going to use them. Probably we'll get something else. Um, I go really careful. What are you doing today? Oh well just screwing in pocket holes. Let's try it. 
said nobody. Okay, guys, if you're going to do this, you need to get these. I will link them down below. These are a lifesaver. It allowed me to do all this by myself. So highly recommend these. Love them. Um, but we made the first part of our garment. So uh, do I keep going or no? Okay, so I can't do, I can't keep going. I have to work for the next two days, but I definitely need to go to the booth and get it cleaned up before the weekend. So I do have to go. I am gonna have to put, well, just keep this here right now and then um, put it away for now and then go to the booth, dress it up. And then um, on my next day off, we will finish the cavity. I'm not saying carcass because that is disgusting. I'm a nurse, I can't say carcass. So we're gonna say the shell or the cavity. But other than that, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Anyway, get these, um, let's clean up and head to the antique mall.